A sleep study is another simpler term for what is also known as a diagnostic evaluation of your sleep. If your doctor suspects you have obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA, he will likely request a sleep study. The study allows doctors to watch sleep patterns and note sleep-related problems that the patient may not even know they have. The sleep study can be done at home or in a sleep lab. If your doctor recommends a home-based sleep test, you'll be given a portable monitor to take home to record information while you sleep. The sleep specialist will then use the results from this test to help diagnose whether or not you have sleep apnea, as well as how well some treatments for sleep apnea are working. The more common type of sleep study is done in the lab or sleep center. It can be done over two nights or over just one, with the first part of the study spent in diagnosis involving a polysomnogram, or PSG. The PSG records brain activity, eye movements, heart rate, and blood pressure. It also records the amount of oxygen in your blood, how much air is moving through your nose while you breathe, snoring, and chest movements. Chest movements can signal how much of an effort you are making to breathe. If you show signs of sleep apnea, the next step is the titration study. This is where you'll be set up on a continuous positive airway pressure, or CPAP device, and fitted for a mask. The mask may fit over just your nose or over both your nose and mouth. And then, for the rest of the night, the technician will monitor and adjust treatment settings. If you're in a one-night or split-night sleep study, this titration will occur in the second half of the night. If you're involved in a two-night study, the titration will happen on a different night. Now, after you leave the lab, your primary care physician or the sleep specialist will review the results of your sleep study and combine that with your medical history and sleep history to make a diagnosis and a recommendation for treatment. Positive airway pressure treatment is the most simple, most effective, and most well-recognized treatment for sleep apnea. It involves wearing a mask which is connected by tubing to an electric motor device. This device then gently supplies air at positive pressure. With the correct setting, the air passes through the nose and into the throat. The slight pressure keeps your airway open and allows you to breathe freely without obstruction. The type of mask and the prescribed CPAP pressure setting will be part of that treatment recommendation. You'll also be told what to do next, such as meeting with your medical equipment provider, who can answer questions about CPAP therapy and your new system, and who will work carefully with you and closely with you to make sure you're fitted properly with your mask. It's important to realize that even though you may have had CPAP therapy during your sleep study, that you may not feel better right away. Some people do, and that's great but it's more common for it to take a few days of therapy, even up to a week or two, to truly adjust to your CPAP treatment. It's important that you stick with it and give it time to work. Remember, you just started the journey, but you're on your way.